Hello. Today I'm making my foolproof Mexican rice. Uh, we start on the stove top and we finish it off in the oven. I've already started the oven preheating to 350 degrees. In the meantime I'm heating up about a third of a cup of olive oil and I'm going to saute some onion, red bell pepper and some green bell pepper. So let's get started. One large white onion, yellow onion, everybody in the pool. And we'll start that. We're only going to cook these until they get soft. We don't want any color on them at all. So. And start to hear the sizzle. Get in there. And a green bell pepper. Now that wasn't actually a red bell pepper. The store didn't have any. So they had the, the mini sweets on sale, so that's what I'm using today. Well, my recipe also calls for, for two jalapenos diced, but I don't have any fresh jalapenos, so I'm going to use the dehydrated, which I dehydrated and I have on hand. It'll work out the same. And as soon as these get a little soft and sweat down, I'll bring you back. Okay, my vegetables have been softening for about three, four minutes. Now I'm going to add one clove of garlic, minced, and yes, I use it out of the jar. And we'll saute this for about one minute. And then we can add our rice. Smelling good. It's been about a minute, so now I'm going to add two and a half cups of long grain white rice. I'm going to stir that in. And I'm going to cook this until the rice turns opaque and you start smelling a nutty aroma. Should take about two or three minutes stirring all the time, otherwise it will start to burn and stick to the bottom of your Dutch oven. So there we go. Alright, it's been about three minutes and the rice is opaque, smelling nutty. Now I'm going to add two and a half cups of chicken broth. One can or two cups of diced tomatoes. I'm going to add some, well I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning, but this was based on a recipe by Emeril Lagasse and it does use his Southwest Essence. So we want two tablespoons of that in there. And then I also add two tablespoons of a tomato broth powder, which is, I don't know if you can see that, it's tomato bouillon from Noor. It helps add the flavor and it adds that traditional reddish color to your rice. And we're going to stir this all together and then bring it to a boil. And then we're going to cover it with the lid and place it in the oven. Ooh, it's going to be delicious. I know it doesn't sound like there's enough liquid in here, but don't forget that the vegetables gave off liquid and there was liquid in the diced tomatoes. So I'll bring you back. Welcome back. It's been about 25 minutes and I let it sit on the stove for five, six minutes. Ooh. And then we're going to fluff up our rice. and look at those grains all separated nothing clumping up like I said it it's basically foolproof and then before I would serve this I'd sprinkle on green onion and that's B-E-A-utiful hope you try it thanks guys bye